Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Jenny. we are now ready to start boarding American Airlines Flight 278. Non-stop service between Dallas-Fort Worth and Washington Dallas Airport with continuing service to Washington National Jenny Airport. is about to embark on a great adventure, her first solo flight. We're going to follow her flight today and see the people who will keep watch over her, the FAA air traffic controllers. We'll learn where they are and how they monitor every move American Airlines Flight 278 makes. Regional clearance delivery, American 278, IFR to Dulles with information Bravo, gate 37 Alpha. American 278, regional clearance, clear to the Washington Dulles Airport. Dallas for departure, Texar Canada. American Airlines Flight 278's route is confirmed. Now, everyone tracking the flight will know the exact route it plans to fly. It is set and checked. Engine off on. They are checked. Leader switches are far open. Number one taxiway 22, say number. American 278. American 278, regional ground, taxi runway 17 right via the outer taxiway, whole sort of taxiway 19. The local controller is the only person who can permit an aircraft to land or take off. American 278, regional tower, runway 17 right, clear for takeoff. American 278, contact departure, have a nice day. As soon as our flight is airborne, a new group of controllers takes over. American 278, regional departure, radar contact, verify altitude. In this room, flight 278 becomes an image on a radar screen. American 278, traffic no longer a factor. The departure controller keeps the aircraft safely separated from other planes. He gets flight 278 up to flying altitude and transfers control to the Fort Worth Air Route Traffic Control Center. Fort Worth is one of 22 Federal Aviation Administration centers that guide aircraft en route to their destinations, making sure they maintain a safe distance from other air traffic along the way. American 278 will pass through four of these controlled airspaces, ending with the Washington Center. The center's airspace is divided into sectors. American 278 will pass through only two of the 40 sectors at the Washington Center before entering Dulles Airport's airspace. Sector teams at centers consist of three controllers, a handoff controller who accepts and passes off aircraft, a radar controller who directs the movement of the aircraft within the sector, and when the workload requires it, a manual controller who provides more detailed flight information than is shown on the radar screen. Advanced computer programs and long-range radar give the radar controller Flight 278's identity as well as updates on its altitude, speed, and direction. American Airlines Flight 278 has begun its descent toward Washington Dulles International Airport. The flight engineer tunes into a tower broadcast to get conditions at the airport and to learn which runway they will use today. 4,000 overcast, wind zero one zero at one zero. Approach and use, ILS runway one right. Departing runway one left. 30 miles out, American 278 enters Dulles airspace. An approach controller continues flight 278's safe descent into Dulles. American 278, uh, Dulles approach control, depart Linden heading one one zero. Descend and maintain 8,000, vectors ILS, runway one right. American 278, five miles from the marker, turn left. The final four. approach controller gives flight 278 its directions to come online with the runway. The local controller guides American flight 278 to a safe touchdown. American 278, clear to land runway one right, wind 320 at 18. Roger, American 278, third land runway one right. American Airlines Flight 278 has arrived. 
Now all that remains is for the Dulles ground controller to get the passengers safely to the terminal. American 278 ground tax to your gate. The Federal Aviation Administration's air traffic control system got Jenny to Dulles safely and efficiently. Every day, more than a million people fly on business or for pleasure. Their flights, like Jenny's, are safe and comfortable because of the dedication of many people, particularly the air traffic controllers who look after airliners from the time that they are cleared for takeoff. 